What's up, YouTube? All right, just figured I'd give you guys a little walkthrough on what all I've got done to my Grom. Okay, first off, we'll get a good broadside view of it, and I'll point out a few things. Um, the wheels, I painted those actually with spray paint. I'll show you this, the can in a second, but it was uh, Rust-Oleum, just the color blue that I wanted. Uh, so painted the wheels. I have the Kevtech 12 bar and I love that thing. It is awesome. Makes wheelies so much fun just to stand up there because it just the balance point is is awesome. Um, let's see the little camo spots that's just some scrap pieces of vinyl wrap that was laying around friend of mine was wrapping his grom and he had those laying around left over and so I stuck them on mine uh let's see what else I got the cheapest flush mount blinkers you can find on eBay that's them um my forks I couldn't stand the gold so I did a paracord wrap up top and then electrical tape on the bottom and it turned out awesome um brake lines front and rear i've got the core moto uh braided steel lines they are amazing i highly recommend them they look great i did some i did a little bit of green on there and blue lines so i, I love the way they look and the way they they're so responsive let's see moving on up to the handlebars i've got the pro taper honda mini bars they're really awesome bars. I can't complain about them. I like them a lot. Um, the only thing I will say is they, they're they a little wider than the stock bars, but I wish they were a little bit more. I wish they had a little more width to them, but I can deal with it. I like them. They, 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 they feel really good. I've got the uh, Pro Taper pillow top grips. Love them things. I used to use those when I raced dirt bikes, and it, uh, yeah, I, I've, I got spoiled to them. So, Pro Taper Pillow Tops, awesome favorite grips. Um, my exhaust. I get a lot of questions about this little thing. This is a $18 exhaust. Still running the stock header. It comes back, and then literally conduit is what I used for a little bit of a mid pipe just to get a bend that I needed all right well it don't leak either 18 bucks on eBay typed in pit bike muffler and scooped it up I put the revzilla sticker on there so no don't look for that if you look for one but uh that's it that thing's awesome I get a little sound clip of it this is a cold start I hadn't started it yet but just so you can hear it have I done oh I got the subframe supports from where did I get those from tactical mines I believe and so they're you know of course inside I'm not gonna be able to see this right now but you'll be able to see the switch maybe I got a switch right here I have an LED kit on here it's uh, just white I did the airbox mod and I'm still running stock gearing. These levers are just, uh, I don't know, they look cool. I don't know what brand they are. They were on the bike whenever I got it. Um, everything else I've done to it, the only thing that was on it was levers and the man in the box fender eliminator. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. This other LED strip back here is another brake light I added just because the man in the box fender eliminator 
has a really small brake light. It kind of made me nervous about riding at night and during the day and people not being able to see me. So I made a bigger one, but that's it. And this is my truck, 2011 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, I won't get into details on it in this video, but it's lifted seven inches in the front, four inches in the rear. Sitting on 33 1250 mud grappler tires, 20 inch moto metal 962s, and Trailworks front bumper. I built the headlights in it, and there she is. But, alright, guys, y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to like it and subscribe.